All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Wildermyth. It's... <laughs> I guess I would almost say, this is the game that's been on my to-do list for months. The developers had reached out and sent me a copy, and I was like, this is really cool, but I'm going to wait until it's closer to release. And then release kind of came and went, and it was kind of... I'm bad. I thought I had it installed on Steam, but every time I sat down to, like, set up my stream schedule for the day, I was like, okay, here are the games that I have installed, here are the games that are on my, like, to-do category. I never actually put the key in, because they were kind enough to send me a copy, but I was bad enough to totally forget to put it in, so every single time I sat down to actually record, I totally forgot it existed, which is bad. Anyway, so now let's actually get, get started and try this game out. It's really cool... I'm not even going to try and describe it because I'm going to be wrong. Anyway, all I know is it's like procedurally generated storytelling stuff. It's the closest game, supposedly, to like kind of a D&D campaign uh, using procedural generation. Anyway, so, The Age of Ulstrix, a three-chapter story that's geared towards new players. Face off against the implacable Gorgon leader, Ulstrix. Difficulty, J.K. Rowling. Lines are dangerous, but won't punish you too hardly. Uh, or too... Too harshly, sorry, brain. So C.S. Lewis, storytelling, control over outcomes, brutal, uh, brutal combat unforgiving, few survive unscathed, eighth P, eighth, eighth P, wow, I really cannot English right now, H.P. Lovecraft, or custom. Interesting. I'm gonna go back to, uh, J.K. Rowling difficulty for the time being. There's also mods that we could pick. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. That's fun. Alright, let's just get started and see how this goes. Okay, so Future Warrior, Future Hunter, and Future Mystic. Let's re-roll all and see what we got. So it looks like no matter what, we have a Warrior, a Hunter, and a Mystic. Uh, let's see, so a Warrior is a snarky into intellectual. Oh. Interesting. There's some. There's stuff here. So human have stat. Humans have special stats. I could get into a lot of this stuff, but I don't want to. Uh, so we have Lorlia, Mudrick, and Dengaron, who is a romantic goofball and <laughs> does not look like a mystic. But let's go with this. It takes a bit of bit of time to put all this together. Get ready. No time at all. This book. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. I'll scratch down a line or twelve. Right. Then this must be the beginning. Here in our yandering country, something in the woods is very strange. Bothered only by the prodding of her own empty doubts, a young woman named Lorlia took the seasonal road towards the town of Mudmount. Everyone's life is their own private legend. The great ones get remembered. I wonder if that's what I want. Sure, the tale of Lor Leah Rooks is a diary of dulls and dust and drudgery, but there's still so much to learn. Who knows where I'll end up? Alright, no more useless thoughts. Morning's getting late, and I'll have to... I still have to drag Mudrick out his door. Hopefully he's wearing clothes this time, or... Smoke? Smoke! Choose. If he dies without paying me back, rivalry, friendship, or romance? Friend zone! Mudrick spends too much time with ferns and fire. Mudrick, where is everyone? Did you get tired of buildings? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you get tired of buildings? The heroes in action left. Heroes no more actions. All heroes get to take their turns in any order, and then all enemies take their turns. Okay, so we have two AP, effectively. Move and attack, or we can do a double move. Objectives are in the top bar. Hover over to see more details. We also have fire, which is going to hurt her, so let's not do that. Let's get behind cover. Let's not go through the fire. Oh, we can extinguish. On the ability bar and click the fire. So we can just run around putting fires out. Yeah, sure. Did you get tired of buildings? <laughs> There's just something really magical about that statement. Well, his home looks fine. 
Mudrick, fire out here. You're not sleeping, are you? Uh, is that Lorelia? Coming. Just let me put the kettle on. You... Is it black tea? No time now. These things came. I'm not sure what they were. Cause chaos. This one behind the house won't leave. Grab something and hit it. Grrr. Fork em. If you can dig with it, you can fight with it. This is for cooking. Why'd I grab this? <laughs> we can beat the thing, right? Or we can't. We'll find out once we open that door. Be ready. So, you could definitely tell the dialogue is a little bit procedurally generated because it sounds a little bit like Mad Libs. But I'm having a good time all the same. Anyway. Row. Hooves thrown supply around beneath it. It runs staggering, bellowing in agony. Okay, so we can attack scenery. This guy is 6 out of 6 health. I'm going to just move him there and wait for a second. I don't think it's going for the doors. Okay, let's have her go first. And attack scenery, open door. Let's just wait. Okay, reduce damage. Stand adjacent to an ally to wall with him. Walling reduces incoming damage by one and does not stack. Okay. So, light lamp. Let's see. Scenery destroy or shoot. Well, that's bad. Four damage, one knockback. Strikes with her frying pan, knocking the foe to another tile and dealing additional damage equal to the distance knocked back. It's just blocking all of my hits. This is a bad... maybe bad sign? Okay, we actually did manage to knock it back. And let's shoot the, the thing. There we go. Well, this is kind of a fun cut paper situation. Warriors like Lorlaia are built hardy, enduring. With natural aptitude for battle, they develop powerful techniques for close combat. Sentinel replaces Guardian. The warrior leaps up to two tiles in order to intercept foes who pass nearby performing an a, a reaction strike and stopping their movement. Once per combat is a free action, Lorlaia frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend the next turn running away. Or as a free action, Lorlaia engages another creature, forcing it to attack her. Um, I'm gonna go... S s s s Sentinel sounds fun, so let's do Sentinel. Hunters like Mudrick thrive in the wild, surviving through stealth and peerless archery. They master their surroundings and bring down large quarry. Every time we kill an enemy, he enters... Gray plane for free. Hmm. Counters all ranged attacks against him, or Medric draws back, ready to loosen an attack upon any enemy who enters the threatened strip of tiles. Shot is not sprung, Medric releases the attack at the beginning of his next turn. So do we want ambush, counterattacks? Let's go ambush. Because that might be really helpful. Okay, so we got an igneous brooch. Extra bonus damage, extra potency. Who gets it? Physical attacks and magic attacks. We also get hide. Uh, I'm going to give it to Mudrick. Wow, this makes us heroes, right? We're about to get very popular. We should go. Dengarun is alone. And honestly, I don't want to go by myself. Now, up to the shadowy rune, what about the village? The fire's out. The thing is dead. The other townsfolk will do what needs doing. And I'm wondering. Now that you mention it, the tracks do lead that way. Why was Dengarin so intent on meeting us there? That old black tower. Oh, I'm sure it's a coincidence. Oh, Dengarin, always eager for a laugh. It's some gag gone awry. This is madness. Come on, Dengarin. Everybody is friends. You and Dengarin are, are good friends. Should we be worried? About Dengarin? I don't think so. Weird things do ha tend to happen around him, but he's probably up there now. Figuring things out. Hmm. In order to find sites in the wilderness, heroes must scout the land, which takes time. Click on an unscouted tile to show the scout icon. Okay. So we can have a bunch of heroes for this. I guess we're just sending both of them. Looks like she moves slower than Mudrick, but... As is what you do. This is 
Cool. I like this. The previous night, the tower where Dangaron had chosen to meet was a place he often used to escape as a boy. Escape to as a boy. He knew its rooms and floors so well, he could survive being chased through them. But they were a bit dusty. Now I wait, I suppose. <coughs> Until that beast breaks through. <coughs> what do you say, be beast? Even you must be bored. Yes, <laughs> The tower was a picturesque old rune, perfect for a plot twist. Now, it was a little more than a strange nest for owls and trysting lovers. But as the old will tell you, in dusty shadows, things, uh, shy things, long go overlooked. That book, why have I never... Are you wondering why I'm talking to myself, Beast? I'm also wondering. The book felt heavier than its slender spine suggested. It was full of strange stories, the folklore of folk long forgotten. The Chained Boy gave no great insight. It was the uncomfortable story of a boy bound to a rock by his parents who sent his, who sent his spirit free, moving through the links of the chain that bound him. The Tears of Oak Woman was a weird, rootless tragedy of a woman made of oak who stood on a sea cliff and rotted, waiting for a driftwood lover to wash ashore. The flotsam beauty floated always on the edge of the tide. The Mudmount Girl gave an account of a young woman who drew things so much and so well that they began to come true. And she drew circles in circles in a book and eventually fell through. Dengarin reached the last word of the final tall tale. A few blank pages were left. This book. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Right. Then this must be the beginning. Here, in our yandering country, Dengarin wrote, not quite sure why, but finding words ready. Omens had taken shape in the fabric of the land. There, inside the weird turning hearts that thrummed in things. Something in the woods is very strange. Some were just misgivings. They crept through his body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. Others were more substantial. Now they seemed like a thundering promise of doom. In the shadowy fringes of the lands we claim as our own, to the huddled homes where we heap our meager treasures, fears have begun to pool and fester, drowning good sense. In the wild black woods where birds once belled, a hateful silence churns. A sudden startling pain lit Denkerin's head. It subsided. For a moment he felt very blank. The story he'd written lay before him in the luminous script, and more empty pages seemed to have spread it up behind it. Why do I feel... powerful? Choose spoon, staff, spoon. Open wide. Girth. Rager charges without seeing, misshapen tusks swinging wildly. Use interfuse to kill from a distance. Mingle the mystic's life energy with a blazer piece of scenery. Interfuse targets grant vision can be used for further purposes. So pretty sure the creature's out there, so we're going to interfuse Torch. And share. Okay. So, object you're interfused with has an ability you can use. Different kinds of objects do different things. So, share. Splinter Blast. Two damage, one shred, one pierce. Explode a wooden object into a shredding blast of splinter that savages the area. Seal fire. Restless fire is unleashed into a nearby pile, burning it where it lands and dealing half damage to units it passes through. Okay. I don't see the critter. Okay, now I see the critter. Luckily, it's traps. Use interfuse ability to connect with fire or scenery. Different types of scenery give different effects and abilities. Many of them use let you use scenery to damage enemies. Steal fire? Okay. Can't steal fire. Let's withdraw from that share. Interfuse with shells. And let's do splinter blast in that direction. That's a cool system. Interfuse to cabinet. Splinter blast bore. Okay. 
interfuse with Telescope. I think this might actually possibly be one of the coolest spell systems I've seen in a video game ever. Bone Lance. Oh, creepy. We call a long, cool lance of bone to impale enemies. I can't wait to see what we can do with that. As a mystic, Dengaron has acquired the knack for interfusing his spirit with earthly things, drawing on these bonds to enact formidable magics. So, Ignite. Targets flammable debris, pulling motes of heat out of the air and gathering them into a single point to create an interfused blaze. Or, when allies stand next to an interfused object, they gain plus one damage. Interfused blazes can be used to grant nearby allies fiery attacks. Or, Arches. Bonds with the earth, summon... summons from... Uh, and summons from Seedling and Silt, a wondrous tree that pins surrounding enemies. I feel like arches might be the most helpful, just because we might not always have an object. Uh, yeah, cannot move and their defenses are lowered. Spirit Blade would be kind of helpful. I'm going to do arches for the time being. Okay, and we get a Fern Shadow Strap, which gives extra dodge. Cool. Did I just do that? I did. I, I felt the, you know, the, the something. And does this mean I'm a wizard? Dengren, are you all right? Thanks for coming. Mudrick, Lolaya. Glad you made it too. You see that smoke? That's from Mudmount. Yeah, it's Mudmount. It's burning. How? Ooh. I've been a little busy myself, actually. Would you two mind terribly if we... Uh, so I'm not sure if you've seen a monster. Sure we have. We slay monsters. I'm a wizard. That's not even how you spell wizard, but that's okay. Alright. So, looks like we got another fight here. We can gather, we can prepare defenses. Oh! Against enemy incursions. You've discovered a new site. Still under enemy control, though. Click on the banner to assault it. Okay. This is cool. What's our strategy? We just go gallivanting in like heroes? Trust me, I just came out of there. Methodical patient. It's the key. Defensive tactics. We might need to open the door. This is the opposite of gallivanting. Okay. Fortitude. All heroes gain a temporary HP. So we got a Raccoon 1, scrambling through shadows, its barbed appendages e eagerly twitch. And Rose Swarm, hooves thrown sloppily around beneath it. It runs staggering. Okay, we know about that. Alright, so we got a couple of things to work with. Uh, let's see. Let's have Lorlaya go first with Mudrick close behind. Get him there. Oh. Tree on a tile without adjacent scenery and infuses it. Infuse with it, pitting any adjacent enemies. Okay, let's just wait. Sentinel. And ambush. Select the focus. Okay, hold up. Over an area on the. Oh. So, Gray Plane is stealth. Swap a weapon. Okay. What if I just don't want to move? Alright, whatever. This will have to do. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have him open the door. Nope. Looks like we're good here. So yeah. Great Plane is just a basic stealth move. Okay. Extinguish, attack scenery, ambush. I'll just do ambush that direction. Uh, let's see. Still nothing. The one problem is Mudrick does not have a just wait button. Let's see, we could interfuse. I don't think it's really that helpful. Okay. I'm gonna have him move forward and open the door. What is that? Stone Fox. Oh. 
It's an interfusible object. A weird, creepy one. But that's what it is. Oh, whoops. Where the heck are these things? We have a lamp. We got some other stuff. I was expecting a little bit more of a, uh... A little bit more of a, a lineup here, but... Oh, well. Okay, so let's have Dengren open the door. There we go. Interfuse with the wood pile. And splinter blast. We still also have that raccoon. But this is okay. Alright, we have sentinel. Okay, let's move here. We're going to ambush anything that goes this way. Ow. Okay. So that didn't quite work the way I wanted to, wanted it to, but that's fine. Uh, let's start with Dengarin. Let's have him move here. Interfuse with the bookshelf. Okay, we have Barrage. Okay, cool. So that will not hit Lorlaya. I was worried for a second about that. Okay. And then we have Prepared prepared Shot. Oh, use the shot before... Okay. Moving or using any other abilities here, lose it. That's cool. Alright, that hurt. We need to get Lorlaya some more... What does Warding do? Damage reduction from incoming magic attacks? Sure. We'll probably want to move that around, but still. Some dawns are gray. That should be golden. The smell of ash embitters the taste of victory. No rain. Should we get some rain? I always knew this morning would rise. When I gaze into the sky and see destiny for myself, a destiny folks would sing about. What started here could be much bigger than us, so I was thinking, let's not wait to be overrun. We'll walk these lands, learn how to fight, we'll send out word, a call for the able and strong, and we'll name this company of heroes... Patriots of the Tormented Music, Vixens of the Bow Unburdened, Druids of the Satin Hawk. You know, weirdly enough, this is actually really close to one of the, like, prototype stories that I try writing on my own. Oh. I even had a name for it, but I've totally forgotten. It was, like, something like... something really basic, like Home Guard, but I know, I know that wasn't quite it. Uh, and I'm not sure if I have it written down in an easy manner. But it was effectively about, yeah, just a bunch of basic normal people, not necessarily heroes, that... that just, you know, have gone on this kind of adventure to save their home or protect it or whatever. And I like the idea of this a lot, actually. The the idea of this this game that is... Oh yeah, it was just Home Guard. Eh, I can come up with a better name than that. Probably. I kind of like it, though. As... As basic as it sounds. Let's see. <laughs> Mudguard. I mean, we are from, what, Muns Mudsdale-ish? Let's check Wiki? What is... Oh, this pulls up a website. Interesting. Huh, event a name in song. So you can actually look up some of these, like, in-game. That's cool. If people actually, like, go wild with the wiki, you could kind of game the whole system. That's not super interesting, but still. Druids of the Satin Hawk. I love these goofy team names. 
Yeah, let's go with Home Guard, seeing as it's close. It's not the most exciting title ever, but these are not exciting heroes. These are just... It's a dude with a spoon, a lady with a frying pan, and one guy with a bow. It's Home Guard. It's an interesting concept, time-honored, really. It does appeal to me, even if... I'm worried we may not be the equals of, well, you know, real heroes. Sounds like the start of a memorable, memorable journey. Here follow the tales of Home Guard. Be remembered. Calamities, your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. Ah. Huh. Okay. So, chapter one. Banners equal jobs for heroes. Click on banners to assign heroes to that task. Securing sites. Once a site is free of enemy control, you can assign heroes to secure it. Secured sites will provide resources at the end of the chapter, which you can use to upgrade your gear. Interesting. There's also start and pause time. 140 days until the next Calamity cards. No infested tile. Three legacy points. I wonder if legacy points are used to improve the next run. Calamities. So we know about that next unit. Cool. So Donnie Bog. Dunbar's a stair. Mountains are impassable. And then everything else is not visible. Scout nearby tiles. Oh. Build a pass. We have a mountain pass. So we can go to the Griffin Flats. We might as well take everybody, because I don't think we're doing more. I could secure some of these locations. Oh! Someone at Mudmount wants wants to join Home Guard. Legacy cost three. Sure. So, I'm going to send Mudrick, and I'm going to scout with Dengren and Lorelaya. Okay, so we have new recruit Snarky Leader, Hamzin. Romantic Hothead, Decisive Romantic, Goofish Poet, oh, go Goofish, Bookish, Hotheaded loner. Let's pick somebody that looks okay. Loof goof goofball. Greedy romantic. Greeny loner. I should also probably pick somebody that doesn't look like any of my other characters. Let's go with this guy. Uh, maybe not that guy. Hotheaded romantic. Sure. You're back! I saw you leave a while ago. I did, but the yandering lands are vast. The enemy is tangled in tight. Another soul to stand against the darkness would make this feel more heroic and less crazy. Are you interested? I have to confess, I was crestfallen when you all marched off. The start of a once-in-a-lifetime tale has dropped itself in front of me, and then slipped away just as quickly. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. You could have said something. But now the opportunity returns. A call to answer. So you're in? Wholeheartedly. What sort of skills do you need the most? Hunter, warrior, or mystic? Uh, let's do two hunters. Okay. So... Okay. Train Tomith is a hunter at Mud Mount. Needs training and equipment. Okay, so let's have Mudrick handle this. That'll take some time. Nope. Oh, I see. They're scouting. Hunters like Tomith thrive in the wild, surviving through stealth and peerless archery. Master their surroundings and bring down large quarry. Physical attacks apply poison one. Extra speed. Once we're combat... Gain 50 dodge, or extra damage and shred when standing by a blaze. Fire can't spread onto her. So, extra damage. Uh, let's go Quelling Moss. Let's have her be a poisoner. Okay. And let's send these two. Because I could go for securing... Okay. Hard to crack a smile for some reason. Donnie Daisy Spire. Spend resources to upgrade heroes and weapons. Find an item, work faster. Find an item. 
Let's send these two. Okay, under the setting sun, a formation of stone catches Lorlaya's eye. I think there's something up there. You never know what you'll find until you look. Upon this hill's summit, nothing is waiting for them. What we have found is a pretty good picnic spot. Then it begins, a thrumming. It gets louder and louder until the stone underfoot ch chatters and shakes. It grows louder until it is a mighty growl, clamorous, thundering, and then it resolves. A voice, I am the one. A voice of a carnivore, cunning and crooning, warning them to run, promising to give chase. The one you have hunted for so long. Through lies and riddles, you have hunted so long for me, and for a sisterhood that should be yours. Do you know my name? A name? It was the gift I gave to your ancestors. They walked my myth over green field and follow. To the curves and corners of being they walked. Do you know my name? How? How would I? A blessing earned through ancient service, an oath written in steps and trails and sealed with a name. You only need know it. I'll ask you once more. Do you know my name? Lokchias! Lokias? Like reading a fairy tale from youth and realizing how disturbing it is, Laya doesn't like knowing the name, but she's sure she sure she's sure it's right. Yes, I'm Lucius, your wolf god. And now you may take my oath, abandon your humanity, my girl, and be blessed as wolf kinds. Feels like coming home. Take an oath, Lorlaya. No one does that anymore. Oath. Lorlaya kneels, and beneath her, green light pools. Dandelions rise out of the sparse windscape dirt. They grow old and white, and throw their seeds. Next, no wilt to nothing. The god rock she kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside. A tremendous odor overcomes her. Of the deepest, oldest, wolfiest breath. Lorlaya! <laughs> Plus four retirement age. <laughs> well, that worked. Let's see, we have no legacy points. So, let's see, can't get over there. I guess we got a couple of places to scout. I'm going to send Lord Laia. Or, I'm going to send Dengar in there. I'm going to send Lord Laia there. We'll just let some time pass for a little while. We need some legacy points if I want to upgrade any of this stuff. Infested tiles are unsafe. Groups of three or less heroes can be ambushed while spending time in an infested tile. If left unchecked, the infestation can spread to an incursion. You can clear infestations by taking out the source or by sending a group of three or more heroes to patrol on the tile. Can I, can I save? Okay, I can save. Perfect. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Scouting isn't going to take too long, I hope. And then we're going to pretty much convene and take it out. The Leaf Timbers has been revealed. So we have Lurking Deepests, Jevonyel's Jev Shelves. Okay, I'm just going to send Dengarin. Okay, Linkview Forest has been revealed. And that's infested. So let's scout with Lorlaya. Okay. Sight safe and knowledge accrued. Thorough delving through the mysteries of Dante's Spire has been proven rewarding. Perhaps one day they'll tell our story in this very spot. We'll return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, a site will provide resources at the end of the chapter. One hide. And we found a torch. Light some fires. And light debris on fire. Let's give it to Dengarin. Because that might be helpful. Bracelet of Faith. Give it to Lorlaya. She is our frontliner. We'll probably want to get some more frontliners, but still. Okay. And we have no legacy points, so let's scout with everyone. And then we'll start clearing out some of this stuff. This is a cool game. Wander Wrath Furs has been revealed. So, probably going to want to go to the uh, Karbaran Waterworks and go clear out the infestation. It doesn't look like they're still infested, but we'll probably do Mechlin Folly first. Uh, but I think we will do that at the start of, uh, start of the next episode. Uh, let's see. Because this game is really cool. 
I like the music. I love the art style. It's a bit simple in, an, in terms of animation, but you know what? I'm totally fine with that. Why is she sparkling? Or is she just the... Okay, she was just the one I had selected. I was wondering that. It's like, did she level up? Can they level up? Has no tasks assigned. Okay, so they can level up. This will be so interesting to to get to the bottom of uh, of. Lurking Gordon, Gorgons. Lurking deepest, lurking Gorgons again. Oh, I see. So, there's the Gordon Gorgons there. We'll probably want to go after the deepest, but I don't know. We've got to go to a lot of these things. So Gorgons are infesting the tile. They ambush groups of three or fewer heroes. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know. I, I'm just going to keep saying that. I wish I had started this earlier, necessarily, but it's fine. Uh, six days until the next Calamity card. Ooh, boy. All right, we'll want to clear things out. But we will have to do that next time. So, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and lets me know you want to see more. And also, if you want to see more, I'm going to shoot for at least like a full run of this run. I'm also probably going to stream this tonight. i got to figure out exactly my schedule because I want to finish up Pokemon. Uh, but this has already captured my interest in a way that a lot of indie games generally don't. And that's a very good thing. So, I guess with that, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.